Okay, so I've taken it out of the uh, containers. Now, basically where this line of um, clay is, is where the join, where the two halves join. So what I'm going to do now is soak this whole thing in a bucket of water for about 10-15 minutes. And what will happen is the water will seep into where the clay is and it should come apart. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so finally finished. That's the mould. That's the top and that's the bottom. So it's all ready for me to now press my first um, wing to see how it turned out. So I'm pretty happy with the patterns and everything. As you can see there you get all the feathers and in, in here as well you get all the feathers so now it'll be just interesting to press it together and see how how good it really does look now something to remember is if you're using clay if you're going to push clay into here the clay will stick so what you do is you just use some talcum powder baby powder talcum powder just a little bit inside the mold and then get a get a brush and brush it brush most of it out and that way the clay won't stick to your mold um, I'm going to be using a pa this paper product that I've got here to test it out so we'll see how it turned out so as you can see this is um, the paper pulp and as you can see the relief of it came out really nice I'm not going to pull it out yet because it's still not set so when it tomorrow when it dries I'll pull it out and um, be able to see the whole wing but I'm pretty happy with um, the effect as you can see you can see all the details um, so that's basically how to cast the wing so that process from start to finish took about two two and a half hours really um, to get it right now what I can do is I can put more um, plaster make put these in a big bigger blocks so that they don't break at the moment there I it could be a bit thicker because when you're applying pressure you've there's a good chance that you could crack it um, so you want to try and have it a bit thicker than that and I'll and I will fit thicken it up because there's no point spending all this time and work to get it to this stage and then cracking it on your first mould. Um, so now I have to repeat the whole process again for the other wing. Um, it's definitely a long process but well worth it because now I can just keep re reproducing these wings over and over now and um, that's cool. So I hope that's helped you guys. Um, any questions, just um, leave a comment. Alright, later.